we were always going to talk about how much Magnolia pressure in terms of defense. And you get a turnover and a point straight away. You need to stay composed. And you, need, you need to be able to win those grind out close games too. CJ Perez sails in for the first two of the San Miguel Pierman. So here you, know, you see the adjustment in the dead ball by San Miguel. They inside decided to put the guard on to Rafi Rivas and put uh, the big man boat right on Tyler Bay. So that's good coaching for you right away. That's what he does best though. He does a bit of everything, but he's stealing the ball, being a whirlwind. He's like a thief in the night as Tyler Bay gets an easy two. Tyler Bay, one of the more youthful players here in the PBA, not just among the imports, but in general, he's the youngest member of this Magnolia squad. Uh-oh, Marshall open for three. In the corner, and that's yeah. money. You know the result already. Paul D, open for a second, that's all he needed, but unfortunately, the shot no good. Nice stagger play, good challenge. Two and one for San Miguel. And Ooh. CJ Perez, such an acrobat in midair. Yeah. Still tough to stop him in open court, one on one, man. You like your chances with, if you're San Miguel. Is he the most dangerous player in the open court? Arguably, yes. I'll try to think of somebody, but you're putting me on the spot right now. But for now, yeah. Well, at least in the 10 on the floor. Yes, perhaps. yes. Oh, and there you go. Speaking of, CJ Perez attacking Tyler Bay and gets two to fall. That's even a Tyler Bay. It didn't matter. He's still able to find a way to finish. They actually struggled a bit on offense against Phoenix as well. Uh, rarely scoring above 85 points as Abu Trater gets nice. the floater to go. Good patience there. Two insertions from the bench off that timeout. Mark Baroja to give more energy. Abu Trater to slow down both trying to play him a bit more physical. Let's see how that pays off. I wonder. I just wonder how long Magnolia will stay with this three big lineup as Haladon gets his third steal of the game. They have numbers. A great find, Tyler Bay. The half court, who are they going to? It's going to be pick and roll, it's going to be Bay. And there's the third steal of Halalon to uh, assist to Bay. As Mark Baroka finds Abu Trater. Nice great fake. fake. Good patience. Great interior passing. We've seen two possessions out of that timeout. First was the shot. 15. Yep. But Magnolia also have quite a bit of depth, especially in the big man position, as Mark Baroka gives Magnolia the lead. They have depth everywhere. Guard, bigs, Baroka's coming off the bench. I mean, they're just solid. Calvin Abueva hasn't even played either. See Magnolia going to a bit of a zone here. Chris Ross moving oh, wow. around. It. So the fourth steal of Halalon. Sixth turnover of San Miguel. Ooh, good block by Ross. San Miguel just needs to do a better job of taking care of the ball. As Mark Baroka continues to stay hot from game number four. It went down to around 36 points per game. That's all in average, by the way, against Barangay Ginebra. As Marshall Lazarus cans another three on the opposite wing. But Benny Boatwright scoring-wise, is it because we're in the playoffs that they are now trying to scheme to get That's him out of the game? That's a factor. And let's not forget, Semis was against Ginebra. You know, Coach Tim's really a good defensive coach. I'm sure he prepared well. But Mark Baroka, man. Instant offense, we said. Rome de la Rosa. The end, San Miguel going to their zone. And Magnolia, they prepared for it. The previous play, you saw an alley play that got them free throws. This time, good interior passing. Moving the short corner. And San Galan, that's money for him. You know, you take a look at this Magnolia team. There's always going to be an argument, rest versus rust, as Benny Boatwright gets an easy two inside. San Miguel had a couple of days off more. You know, instant offense, had a bit of rest, did not play the semifinals due to an injury. And a quick turnover here, great pressure uh -oh, defense for out. Magnolia, and Tyler Bay cuts it in for two. Team defense there. This is the hard show by Abueva. Bay gets the steal. The best move of the game is brought to you by Honda. No, and again, the pressure defense coming in for Magnolia. Wide open in the corner, Don Trolliano. That was a much needed bucket. And that pressure defense turns out to backfire from the Calvin Abueva double teaming. Five of his initial 10 day rest after suffering from tendonitis on his left foot. But according to Terrence, he sat down with the whole team and the coaching staff and expressed his desire to help out the squad. He wasn't able to practice though for the last two weeks, but he was the very first guy here in the arena getting his shots in and fan stream on selected games. Download the app and register now for free. Thank you very much. That was Denise Tan with an extended lead here, rather, of Magnolia. Well, they're sticking to the way they want to play offensively. They're still running the right sets here. They get an open three. 
and they're actually defending pretty well. The only time, I mean, look, you mentioned the turnover. Well, this is a good start, a steal. <laughs> uh, Jericho Cruz adds so much more energy to the San Miguel play. Uh, they're almost at the penalty, also talking about Magnolia, so San, San Miguel's continue to stay aggressive. As well, Bay with a tough high arcing floater over both guys. Tyler Bay, of course, uh, he, he hasn't. He's got to go here from a goal 12 points already. It feels like a, a little quiet 12 points apart from his two slaps a while ago. Terrence Romeo. And that's why you leave him in, despite his early struggles, yeah. man. He, is, he never runs out of confidence, right? He set that up and said, you know what, I'm going to walk into this three. He wasn't that open, man, but he gets it to drop. That's I skill. Terrence Romeo might be one of the most confident players in the BBA oh, for sure. in general because of his skill and how he works at it. I think it was six, but let's take a look at Terrence Romeo. Just how good is this guy? It's a simple pick and roll going to his left. Great screen. Yes, and Miguel's running the floor. Jericho Cruz thought about it. Gives yeah. it to Benny Boatwright. Good patience. Controliano in the corner. Big three gets that in, and the whistle's blown as well. Get Chris Ross back in, but they're leaving Terrence in for the moment. Only looking for a first three of go. Magnolia, and finally gets in a ball. Paul, he had a couple of good looks that he missed. You know, sooner or later, a guy that good's going to hit his shots. And they're now one of seven from beyond the arc of Magnolia. Terrence Romeo attacking Mark Barroca. And that is classic. Yeah, for they sure. Are I mean, they, all can, they all can play for yeah. sure. This is what we're used to seeing teams do. Attack Jude Mark Fajardo on the pick and roll. Paul Lee gets the step, gets the end one. Let's go in. So let's take a look at that. So attacking Jude Mark Fajardo in the pick and roll. I think we've seen that almost. Oh, San Miguel have been locking down defensively here. Chris Ross to CJ Perez attacking Rome de la Rosa. Good ball movement. Benny Boatwright gets a big three. That's great ball movement. And again, as you said earlier, he can shoot from wherever. He's got 10 points. Missed a couple of good looks from three. It was only a matter of time that he gets his first. And he did there. Look at CJ Hound. Good help. You know, in, in this game, it's really going to boil down to the right combinations on the floor, the right defensive matchups. As Tyler Bay gets a much needed two pointer here for Magnolia. You know, correction there on uh, Benny Boatwright. He has 13 now. He had 10 right before the three pointer. And it was a 10 point lead, the first double digit lead prior to that. Magnolia gambling. Will San Miguel make the pay? Marshall Lasseter yep. does. Break. They're going to need some of that against this San Miguel team after what we've seen in the first half so far. Oh, they'll need some. Oh, nice move. Well, that was a touch foul. Support get to work. Good move here. And right now, offensively, see Tyler B. Lang and see Mark Barroca to CJ Perez. This is one of the smaller lineups. Magnolia. CJ Perez. Ooh. Get three to go. They have gone to the line, talk about San Miguel, 18 times. They've made 14 of the uh -oh. 18 as Marshall Lasseter is open in the corner again. It wasn't just a double team on both right. Mark Barroca. Finding Insan Gadang inside, attacking Mo Tao Tua. Great block there for Mo. And a turnover. Gotta get back to defense. Uh oh. Benny Boatwright, three straight away. <laughs> and Benny Boatwright gets the shooter's roll, the shooter's touch. And it's all San Miguel here at the end of the second. Good block, too, by Boatwright. Both ends of the floor. Good job by San Miguel not fouling. This could be big. And Marshall continues the storm for the San Miguel Beerman. This connection, Chris Ross and Marshall. That's a quick release. Napo doing a good job fronting and defending Jumar, but Perez here with the steal. Uh oh. An easy two for CJ Perez. It's going to be tough. Good patience. There's the patience there for Zuma Farda, but also the, just really the technique and the skill that yeah. he's honed throughout his career. Uh -oh. Bay with the missed flush. I guess. Uh oh for, uh -oh for Magnolia then. Uh oh for many reasons. As CJ Perez extends the lead by two. It's a huge four point swing when you're coming back. You gotta take every point you can. You know, this is how difficult it is for Magnolia to score that there was actually a missed dunk. Yeah, he's like but a there missed was no missing there. I had to make sure. Only knows how to run, it yeah, feels like. Sure. Uh oh. And oh, good oh. hands. Great hands there from San Miguel as San Miguel finish with Benny Boatwright at the end of it. 
looked like Bay was going to be on his way there for a sure two points, but Marshall making a play, disrupting that in a quick counter attack. Turnover points, fast break points, however you put it. Tatigal's getting a lot of easy baskets quick. She's getting it done on both ends of the floor. Marshall Lasser already had 16 points. Look at Halala just roll away from Ross. And wide open here, Chris Ross. He's, you know, with all due respect to Chris Ross, if you're looking at who they're going to allow to score as Chris Ross gets to. San Miguel has to weather that storm. You know, we talked about uh, Mark Baroja being the X Factor here. But they don't need uh, another X Factor. They just need more factors. Green's a bit frustrated with what's been happening here so far, Charles. As Tyler Bay gets just the third three-pointer of Magnolia in this game so far. And he's continuing his stellar play. 24 points now for him. This quarter's not lost yet. They, they can still win this quarter if they close out strong. Amoto to a pin finish there and reveal his nickname to us here as Calvin Apoeba runs the court and attacks That's what and they gets need. to. You want energy, Charles. There it is. Yeah, Marshall Lasser just gets his fourth foul. Way to finish strong. Here to this game so far, Donald Magellan. Thank He's extended possessions here. Multiple yeah. possessions for San Miguel. Ooh. And the turn and the finish, Jed Rontang. Who said I'm just extending minutes? I'm Back to Baroka, 12 seconds on the shot clock to work with. Baroka. Ooh, right into the brick wall. And Abu Trater, soft touch, and gets it to fall. Good defense by Bay there. Trolliano on the attack, but the spot from Trater. And many both right though, there to clean it up. Mongolia, time running out on them. They still have time. As Jumar Fajardo floored Abu Trater. Erased him. <laughs> Not that time though, Kabir Webb gets the rebound. Trolliano, 10 points already in this ball game. Nice. Abu uh, Trater, kept it alive there, just barely. Tyler Bay, no good with the three. Uh -oh. And they play it straight to Benny Boatwright. He went after his shot gamble, trying to get that offensive rebound. Something to get quicker to the ball. And Instead, they get a two points of their own, and here comes San Miguel. This game is almost done. And, and I think Coach Chito is ready to raise the white flag. And Gerontang almost extends possession again, and a turnover here, Gio Alalon on the run. Gets two to fall. Into his bench. Yep, with Escoto coming in as well. And uh, Doza, yep. Yeah. Gio Halalo, though. Gio Halalo, you know, he will not stop pushing. Starters are still out here, or at least some of the big hitters of San Miguel still in this. Take Gio Halalo. Six points in the game so far. Coach George just wanted to make sure, don't want to pull him off too early and give Montoya some confidence heading into the call. Pound 88555 or visit your nearest signal dealer. Your crews can't make either. And, uh, you know, Magnolia technically still alive here, Charles. But they are on life support yeah. at the moment. Eriobu driving, attacking. Ooh. Oh! The reverse from Joseph Eriobu. Another look at this again, Eriobu. Ooh, take a look at that highlight against the MVP. He's splitting his legs in the air, too. That's nice. And Lapot holding off Junmar there. That was an impressive feat. As Simon Nciso is trying to check the Cyclone, Gio Halalon. Spreading the ball around, Eriobu, who scored a highlight just a while ago, keeping it alive. It's still Eriobu, wow. and Eriobu again! Good, because he gets the end one, look at this. Yeah, Eriobu, just getting rid of yes. Don Trolliano with that move. Give your team a lot of, some positives entering the next game. Again, it's a series, and a lot of it's about confidence, but CJ says, he ain't coming back. CJ Perez tripping Eriobu, and two. But either way, both right a young import. Look at CJ outworking everybody. And Yen Sangalang has it here. So is there a late miracle here for Magnolia? As Gio Halalo forcing the issue, 10 point lead with 204 left here. On the attack, on the move. He floats one up, no good. Ooh. Oh, and Jed Mendoza has it. He feeds in Sangalang. Little fake end one. Poor foul there. <laughs> but he did it. Another look at that here. Rodiano just rushing there. Nien Sangalang in the foul length one. Had some here with Magnolia, I guess, but yeah. I think nice play. And Yobu getting a two. Hey, six points, one minute. Magnolia will try and see if there's a Reggie Miller with them. Escoto thought about oh, it. Bay. Wide open. Wide open. Oh, and CJ Perez in the defensive effort. And that'll do it for game number one.
first blood since San Miguel Bierman and coach George Gallen. 103 to 95, the late fight back from the brave bench of Magnolia falls short.